everyone welcome back to my channel my name is moga the face behind this channel moga phillips um it's been a while but okay i'm back and today i'll be talking about culture jobs which we face in the uk um you're relocating to the uk international student moving into the uk um i'm gonna be talking about a few culture jobs which i have experienced and some of them wish you don't know about if you're gonna experience as a student here yeah, uh, or as an individual relocating yeah i've been in the uk for almost four years and these are some of the culture jobs which i've experienced and i've really stayed out um so one is the weather i came in when it was cold and you know you have to put on layers when you go outside in the weather um in winter uh, we're currently going to be entering winter as well it gets dark by 4 p.m um it's extremely cold for people that are not used to this climate um you have to put on layers in on top and the bottoms layer up and cover yourself and, and then we get to spring and then summer and then autumn we're currently in autumn and autumn is just welcoming you into the cold but yeah the weather is one thing people tend to struggle with because it gets really cold and another thing is people here yeah, use pet names when they're referring to you um they say my darling my lovely um sweetheart my dear um it doesn't add anything to it <laughs> there is it's just as simple as it is they just have way of using endearments to refer to someone else they don't add anything to it just my darling my sweetie me lovely and that's it um another thing is sorry i'm looking on the list um the independent lifestyle over here um back at home where we're from we are very very not de we depend on one another for a lot of things and over here when you come nobody depends on each other you have to be independent as a student you need to be independent on your own um you need to learn a lot of things you don't know how to use a washing machine the dishwasher the printers the bus routes when you're going to school google is your best friend you have to learn everything yourself yeah you can meet someone for help but most people expect you to know these things because it's the norm so you have to learn a lot you have to make research and research and research and learn a lot of things also speaking of research most people when they come here they struggle a lot in their education in their studies in their coursework they struggle a lot because the way the coursework is here is different from international countries you have to know a lot about researching and i think if you came early and you meet the introduction and the orientation you can be taught on how to meet up with the standards which they use in the uk but it's all about researching um no two work is the same because they can easily tell your way of writing from the next person so you have to research you have to make citations you have to use references according to the school references every school have their own guidelines some use have a reference in some use apa different style you have to know these things and plagiarism also you cannot plagiarize so you have to make research it's easier that and trust me it's much easier than the education system i was used to it because i i studied in nigeria but you have to learn about it if you did your own research back at home you'll find it easier i did my research my supervisor in my undergrad was very very nice that he taught me how to write my research how to cite how to put in the references it was easier for me coming here it was like wow this is easy but a lot of people struggle with these things because they don't have the experience and you can't source out your work give it to someone to do for you no because when you start writing lecturers they understand your pattern of writing and everybody pattern of writing is different from the next so you have to make a lot and a lot of research you have to learn if you're struggling there's assignment support you can book time with your lecturers with your tutors they can help you put you to tell you how to meet up with the guidelines and when you understand these things it's very very easy to pass and also it's easy to fail so you have to do a lot of research um another thing is the food um people move to different countries and i'll be like oh i want to eat this oh i'll not eat that trust me <laughs> the food that you will buy from the country where you're coming from yeah you can have your food stuff which you bring but when you go to the local shops for example um the african shops the polish shops different shops um the prices are very very different and it's mostly expensive to be told 
you have to learn to incorporate other meals into your food like you have to learn to incorporate breakfast from there you have to learn to incorporate different side dishes into your food you think you're gonna be spending a lot you want to say oh i want to eat like the way i was eating back from my country you're gonna be spending a lot just trying to keep up to that lifestyle so it's easier to learn and incorporate what people here eat because it's the cheaper ones excuse me and then you fix it into your meals and you make it if you go to my channel <laughs> i'm someone that likes learning and incorporating new meals and food wherever i go you can see different easy food there's easy breakfast to make there's easy snacks to make there's easy dinner to make these things are cheaper you can also see a video when i put on me shopping in Audi and in the African shop the things I just sourced for easily and I just pop cook them and they're easy to go and I know I'm not spending a lot on food so food is something that takes a lot of money and you want to be smart about your spendings and also for students as well um back to Nigeria we also we refer to our lecturers and tutors oh sa ma na that's not the way it is done yeah if I'm a lecturer you call me moga or my English name princess there's no way you can say oh um, Mrs. Moga or Miss Moga no um, you use the first name of your lecturer it's how it's done yeah you can say uh, Mr. you can say Joseph Sam not Mr. Joseph or Mr. Sam so a lot of people come here and they oh Sam nah we don't use Sam uh, and they are easy to approach and that's how it is yeah and I really love that system to be honest um also um when you go to work you notice um there is a smoking designated area you can just smoke in even in your apartments as well you can just smoke in your apartment and um, there's a smoking alarm a fire alarm in the house um you have to do that outside at designated areas at work school there's designated areas for that and people go out and do that you don't do it within a building and it's against the law um also um you get cheaper things in charity shop for example people coming into the uk um getting unfurnished apartment uh, or part furnished apartment you want to buy a microwave you want to buy a toaster there is cheaper stuff in the charity shop there is british hats there is salvation army you can get these things some of them are brand new for free for not for free sorry some of them are brand new but you can get them for a cheaper price than the full price item in quarries or somewhere else where you're getting the full price item and a lot of people don't know about these things and yeah you can go to the charity shop and get these things for a cheaper price and also you can also get furniture as well there you can get beds you can get freezers you can get cupboards you can get chest of drawers for a cheaper price than the full price item and also in you can get like for example coming to the uk in the cold weather in the winter you can get um things from poundland this poundland that says pound one pound for an item it's quite cheap to get um household item also you can get um blankets duvet um bed sheets and primer that's another ch um, store that says uh, less price goods as well so these are a few other culture talks um i've experienced and i know most people don't relate so but if you want me to put more out there i can put more because um like i said i'm a student here and have experienced a lot of things and yeah, I'm just been out there for a lot of people coming into the country. These are culture talks which you experience, and there are also more which you would see. And yeah, another thing too, when you're traveling, you need to know your bus times. If you miss a bus or a train, um, by a minute, you won't see the train there. If the bus is supposed to be leave by 9 a.m. and you're there by 9, you won't see the bus because they leave on time. Same with the train. You have to be there 10 or 15 minutes or five minutes before the time. Um, British people they keep the time they are like they keep the time in everything if you just start work by five you're supposed to be there before five and resume by five so is the bus so is the train and these things work according to time so yeah that's another one that just came to my head as well um, thank you for watching this if you find this helpful so far please don't forget to give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and like and follow and share as well with other people so they can have a bit of an idea of what they're coming to face and the culture shock which was experienced thank you for watching hope to see you soon bye